Today we are going to find all of the Libertad crates on Isla Santuario. Starting from Quito, then moving on to Fincejo. But other than that, in no particular order. To anyone who speaks Spanish, I apologize profusely, but it's only going to get worse from here. Also make sure to check the timestamps if there's a specific crate that you're looking for. Our first crate is near FND Bunker 43. You pass it during the tutorial. It's easy to find and easy to overlook. Our next one is found at Clara's Camp. It's nice and easy to find as it is right beside the workbench and the fast travel site. And whilst you're here, don't forget to grab Lita's Notes 5. Next, we head to the town of Armonia. Starting from the main road, we head to the second building on the left, the one with the ivy growing from the roof. Our crate is beside the car seats. This time we head for Perez Farms. Starting from the front entrance, we dodge a tractor and head into the barn. Looking to the left, climb on top of the second crate and take your crate. Isn't it just crate? Next, between the Panto Este lighthouse and the Viviro plantation, we find this little shack. Against the southern corrugated metal wall, we find this crate. Northwest of Cabeza Fuel Depot and east of Sagrado Checkpoint, we find this little house. Simply walk around the back of the house, break the pallet, and take the chest. A little bit north from the previous one and a bit south of Oropuro Ridge, we can find this crate-bearing clifftop camp. Now north again of our previous crate, but still south of Oropuro Ridge, we can find this radio tower. Simply grapple our way up, and on its platform we will find a crate. Just be careful how you get back down. Not all of those are zip lines. Now we finally arrive at the much fabled Oro Puro Ridge. Here we can find, you guessed it, a campsite. Heading through, there's a ladder we can climb up, at the top of which is our crate. And whilst you're here, you might as well continue along the path and grab this idol. Heading along the Cortez coast, we can find this cave. Head inside, sticking to the left wall, and you'll find the crate covered over by some breakable vines. Northeast of Fort Quito, the path dips through this little pond. Jump in, and on the southern side, you shall find your crate covered by a pallet. Now we go a little further north again to this little camp complete with a horse spawning station. Head over to the roofed area and beside the bunk beds is the crate. Continuing the trend, we head even further north to Franja Peninsula. Here we find the small fortlet. We head inside, climb the ladder to the second floor and beside the graffiti on the wall is the crate. Well now there's nowhere north left for us to go, so we head back south to this little outpost to the north of the Cabeza Fuel Depot. Now we head for the central mountain range, northwest of the Akanana farmland. From this little camp we head east along the path till we find a couple ledges we can climb up. From here simply walk along the log and break the vines. North again to Casa Benito. From this open area, head towards the pier, then break this pallet leaning on the building. Now we head for Agula Peak. Following the path, it takes us straight into the cave. Keeping an eye on our left, we notice the unmistakable sign of a crate behind some breakable vines. Also, Guapo knows parkour. He's pretty cool like that. Next, we head west from the peak. Now don't be fooled by the scaffolding. It's merely bait. You need to head for this doorway on the ground floor. Grapple your way up, 
then circle round to the crate. And with that, we're done with Quito. Time to head into Vencejo and, more specifically, the Montesinos Lagoon. Spoil the serenity of this peaceful beach by shattering this boat and looting the crate. Next, we head east to the Keo Seguro Peninsula. Here we have to climb the tower. We start by climbing the first ladder. Turning around and moving to the other side of the building, we climb the ledge which subsequently allows us to climb the second ladder. Turning to our right, we find the crate. Whilst you're here, don't forget to also grab this nearby idol. And last but not least, along Tokoloro Ridge and northeast from the FND tank depot, we can find this lagoon side camp. Head over to the pier, jump in the water and stick to the left bank. Once you come out of the water, jump up on the ledge and remember, you are Crete. So whilst I was recording footage for these, I also found a couple of notes nearby. I thought, might as well read them. Orders. A refugee ship sank off the coast last night. Locate the wreckage and search for survivors. If you find anyone alive, bring them straight to the plantation. We need more bodies to work the fields after the cholera outbreak. Comandante Rosario. Note to Clara. We don't have a lot, but we will give as much as we can. Too long we have seen the soldiers take and take and take. Castillo is a pig. I have collected bandages and medicine from the village. And you can have as much fish. And you can have as much fish as you can eat. Crumpled napkin. Thank you for supplying medical supplies to our cause. Yara is under the rule of a tyrannical monster. And your sacrifice gets us one step closer to overthrowing him. Every Yaren deserves freedom from oppression, freedom from censorship, and freedom from fear. Viva Libertad! Spread the word and destroy this note. Short post-it note. Possible scheme? Soldiers, farmers, it doesn't matter. That hog beats them all. Think I could rig some bets on that bad boy? Maybe like a matador sort of thing. But one where the bull and I always win. Tightly printed note. Never have I faced a beast with such ferocity intermingled with dignity. Stoic. He or she patrols their domain with such grace. For the first time in my life, I admire my quarry. Staring into their eyes, I see a humanity this island has so long denied to me, the noble hunter. Am I in love with this hog? You know things are bad when you want to pork the pork. 